Welcome to Center of Math's uh, series on graph theory. Today we're going to talk a little bit about tournaments. So first some definitions. Uh, so first we're going to have a graph, but in our graph, our relations, our edges between vertices are not going to be symmetric. We're going to call these arcs. They're going to, you can think of them as ordered pairs of vertices. So. If we have two vertices u, v, we have a relation u, comma, v, going from u to v, but not v, comma, u. We don't go from v to u. And so, yeah, and so these uh, directed edges, we're going to call them arcs. Uh, yeah, and also we're going to define the distance between two vertices as the smallest, the, the path between the two vertices that has the least number of edges in it. So the distance between this and this will be 2. Distance between u and v will be 1. If we had some extra uh, edges, directed edges between u and v, distance would still be 1 because the minimum length path is length 1. So that's how we're going to define our distance. So uh, our definition of a tournament is going to be a graph uh, such that you take any two vertices in the graph and you have an arc going at least going one way between the two vertices. So that's a tournament and now a theorem. So in a tournament, if you select the vertex, it's called V with a maximum possible outgoing number of arcs. Uh, we can show that the distance from this vertex to any other vertex is at most two. So say we have a vertex V, it has a maximum possible outgoing number of vertices. Uh, first note, all the vertices adjacent to it on outgoing edges are distance one from the vertex, so these fit in our theorem. And so we just want to prove that all the ingoing vertices, the vertices going into V, uh, they have an out, one of these vertices that are distance one from V. We can find an outgoing arc to any one of these vertices such that the distance from these ingoing vertices is in fact just two. Uh, so we can prove this. Uh, note that, assume this isn't true, so select an ingoing vertex. Say we have vertex uh, u. U has an arc going from u to v. Now, say there is no uh, all the vertices that are outgoing from v. Let's say there are no uh, edges arcs going from any of these to u. So that implies, because this is a tournament, u has uh, edges going from u to each of these vertices. Uh, and so, say v, you know, v has outgoing degree n then u has outgoing arcs to each of these, uh, each of these vertices, so it has outgoing arcs and, and outgoing arcs. Also has an outgoing arc going to v, so it's outgoing, uh, it has n plus one outgoing arcs, which is a contradiction because we assume v is our vertex with a maximum possible number of outgoing arcs, which implies at least one of these vertices must have an arc going from them to u, and so u is distance 2 from v. Uh, so we want to show that uh, given a vertex v with a maximum number of outgoing arcs on some tournament, the number of outgoing arcs on v must be greater than or equal to the number of ingoing arcs on v. Uh, so this follows from if we sum, uh, if we say at, out of v is the number of outgoing arcs of some uh, vertex v, uh, in v we define as the number of ingoing arcs to v, 
when we sum over out v minus in v over all v in our tournament. Uh, note this is, in fact, will just equal zero, because uh, for each arc, we count once as an outgoing arc, so plus one for some vertex v, and once as an ingoing arc on its other end, so once as minus one. And so this ends up all summing to zero. Uh, note that the v with the maximum number of outgoing arcs maximizes this out v minus in v. So the number of arcs is the same. The graph is just a complete graph. Uh, when out v is maximized, this difference is maximized. So note that uh, if the maximum is less than 0, then we're going to be summing only negative numbers here. And so this will be less than 0, and we'll get 0 is less than 0, which is a contradiction. So from this, we conclude that uh, the maximum of out v minus in v is greater than or equal to 0. And so the maximum out degree uh, v must be greater than or equal to the n degree of v. Uh, thanks for watching. Please check out standardmath.org. Check out our blog, follow us on Facebook and Twitter, and check out our, our other graph theory videos. Uh, thank you.